Hey, what's up guys? Nadia and Sans here for another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. First order of business, we surpassed 50K subs on this channel, which is absolutely insane. It is growing a lot more and a lot faster than I ever thought it would. And I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, wanna thank you guys. I could not do it without you. I make these videos for you. The next milestone we're trying to hit is that 100K mark. I wanna put the 100K plaque right up on the wall, maybe between the flash painting and this other painting that you guys never see because my head covers it, but it'll go somewhere on the wall. Second order of business, today's lesson. In honor of hitting 50K, subs, I'm going to do something I've never done before on this channel, which is open up a finished, completed project to show you guys what my organization looks like, what my timeline looks like, and give you guys some tips and tricks that I use to complete a project, and hopefully it will help you in the future. Some of you may or may not know, I am the director of post-production for 1UP Studios and Team Liquid. If you don't know what 1UP Studios or Team Liquid is, links are in the video description below. The link to the project that we're going to open is also in the video description below. It is going to be Squad Season 2, Episode 1 for Team Liquid League of Legends. It just came out this past Friday. So we're going to open up the project. I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks, some cool little things, mainly putting master effects on video clips. So open up Adobe Premiere because actually we're not going to be really doing anything today. Maybe you can just watch this one. You don't have to follow along. You can just kind of sit back, check it out. It can be real casual. I, I don't know. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, I've got the project open and this is kind of what the timeline ended up looking like after the project was finished. And I will go through kind of everything that's going on over here. But first I want to start over here on the left-hand side in my project window and notice that everything is organized into folders. This is super important. If you're going to be an editor, you have to be organized. If you're not organized, it will just create a never ending loop of headaches for you and finding things, it's just gonna be super difficult. So organize your project in something that makes sense for you. This is what makes sense for me. So let's check it out. I have all of my footage here. That's all in the project. So all of my footage is in these folders here. And then moving on underneath, I have all the music that I have in this project. And then I have some graphics and then all of my sequences and uh, some title sound effects and all my nested sequences. So basically I'm keeping everything organized into folders so that my whole project window just doesn't look like a mess. And this is super important. Now let's move on to the timeline over here on the right hand side. Now on the very topmost layer, you see all these little colored blocks. These are actually all of my lower thirds. So all of the lower thirds, as you can see here, double lift 80 carry, I can turn that on and off. And so I have all of my graphics sitting on top of my cinema crop lines and I can turn this on and off and you can kind of see that I'm just using the cinema crop since YouTube unfortunately doesn't support the correct aspect ratio. We kind of have to fake it. Next down is my adjustment layer, which I'm actually doing just a LUT adjustment on. I'm doing a little bit of film fade. So if I can turn it on and off, you can see it's kind of applying a film fade look to my footage. If we jump over somewhere else, you can just see that it is kind of fading the blacks uh, you can really see like kind of underneath this DJ thing here and in the speaker here. It's like fading the blacks really nicely and giving it kind of like a pinkish warm hue. Underneath the adjustment layer is all of my B-roll and all of my interviews. All of the audio is mainly on channel one for all of my talking points. And then down underneath that, I have all of my music tracks on one track. And then directly underneath that, I have a reverb track. And if you watch my audio effects tutorial, uh, you will recognize this effect here where it's kind of just echoing out and uh, I'm using it as a transition. So this is a useful track to have for me. That way I can just drop anything onto that track and automatically apply the same effect throughout the entire piece. But this is what my project ended up looking like. And I kind of like to keep this format basically for everything I do. Sometimes I'll have two different tracks for all the music if music is overlapping. But for this project, I actually didn't need to overlap any music and that's why it's all on one track. But what I really want to show you guys is the master clip effects. Now, if I come over here to this interview, this double lift interview, and I zoom in here and I click on my clip, up here in the left corner under your effect controls, there's a little thing called master. And I don't know if any of you have seen this or clicked on this before, but if you click on this, it'll bring you over into the master clip effects. And what you can do is actually drop effects into this panel and it will automatically update every clip on the timeline that comes from that source clip. And this is really convenient to use for color grading. And if you're also moving the clip around in frame. Now, right now, if I click over here again, I have a transform effect and a color grade effect on this clip. And if I click them off, you'll see that the color grade goes away and the transform effect, what I'm doing is basically framing out this guy working over here at this desk because I don't want him to appear in all the interviews because it's a little distracting to the eye. So I'm applying a transform effect to get him out and I'm basically reframing the image. To give you guys an example, I have the double lift interview right here. All the pink ones down here on the timeline are all the double lift interview. And if I were to come in here 
and adjust this transform effect on the master. I'm gonna turn it back on and I'm just gonna scale it up a lot. If I'm applying this transform effect, every time I go to that interview now, it will apply the same effect. It will always move the clip to the transform properties that you have selected. And also it has the color grade burned into it so that I don't have to go and copy and paste every single color grade onto the clip. What you guys are probably doing is coming over here, you're hitting control C to copy, and then you're finding where that clip appears on the timeline and you're going and you're pasting attributes or something like that. That takes so much time. And if you change one little thing, then you have to go back through your timeline and change every single clip again. Don't do that, guys. You're wasting so much time, so much valuable time that you could be editing, you're wasting copying and pasting effects onto other clips on the timeline. Use master clip effects, I promise. It's super, super awesome. And I'll just go and throw something else on there so I, so you guys can see again how this works. So I'm gonna come down here to image control and I'm just gonna drop black and white on the master and it will turn the clip black and white. Now, if I go over to any of the clips on the timeline, it'll be black and white automatically. So you can change every clip's dimension on the timeline. And this timeline is like 11 and a half minutes long, right? So there's no point in copying and pasting all of these attributes over and over again, when you can just do something simple like applying a master effect. As far as the color correction goes, if you're color correcting a clip, and I'm gonna click over into my color panel here at the top and it will bring up the color correction. Now it has the same thing up here. Right here, you're just color correcting that single clip. If you click on master and it will bring you the master color correction controls for every clip on the timeline, every single time that that clip is being used, you can color correct the master and it will throw it over here under the master folder in effect controls. So again, if I wanted to just kind of like really warm this up and then really turn it pink for some reason, now every time I go to a double lift interview, it will copy that same color correction over. And this, I, I'm telling you guys, it will save you the most amount of time you've ever saved doing anything in Premiere ever. So guys, take a look at this timeline. This is kind of how I organize things. Again, I am not the end all be all for post-production knowledge. Everybody does things differently. Some people will do it differently than me. Obviously, I want you guys to take advice from me so that if you have any questions, I can appropriately answer your questions because you're kind of formatting the way that you work like the way that I work. And this has worked for me so far. Over time, I'm sure I will develop new ways of doing things and you guys will get a new video if I find some new cool thing to integrate into my workflow. But for now, this is kind of how I work. The main thing I wanted to teach you guys today is the master clip effects. It is super helpful. It saves you so much time and you won't have to just be nitpicky about everything, right? Because if you forget to copy and paste an attribute over to one clip and then you end up exporting or rendering or whatever, and then like something is zoomed in a certain way and then all of a sudden one clip is zoomed out and then it's zoomed back in because you forgot to copy and paste. This will save you a tremendous amount of time and headache because you know that all you have to do is fix one thing and then your entire timeline gets updated. So that is a huge, huge tip from this lesson. Uh, that's the main thing I wanted to share with you guys today. And I thank you so much for watching this video. Short and sweet and chock full of knowledge, baby. That's how we do it here at Learn How to Edit Stuff. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly. Well, I try to do them weekly. You know, sometimes I get busy, but uh, anyway, we're gonna try to do them weekly. Thank you guys for 50K subs. Holy moly, that is a huge accomplishment. Subscribe, check out the last video that you missed, and I'll see you next time.